I don't know if you caught it this morning, but uh, Anthony Fauci, among others, was uh, being grilled before a Senate committee this morning. And Rand Paul was trying to grandstand with his prosecutorial, didn't you say, and how can you, and aren't you conspiring? And, and Fauci just kept saying, well, he said, in usual fashion, Senator, you are distorting everything about me. And then Fauci goes, and then Paul goes, quack, quack, quack. And then Fauci goes, there you go again. You just do the same thing every hearing. You are incorrect, Senator. Fauci says to Paul, you are incorrect in almost everything. You keep distorting the truth. This is stunning how you do that. And then Fauci lift, holds up a page, a screenshot from Rand Paul's website that says fire Dr. Fauci. And next to it, it has a donate to Rand Paul button with a list of, well, you can donate $20 or $50 or $100. And uh, Twitter's going nuts, right? It's just going nuts. But, you know, Ron pa Rand Paul is not the only wannabe neo-fascist out there. Uh, Ron Filipowski, who is a, a, a lawyer, a Republican, and writes over at the Bulwark, uh, is, uh, has been going off on uh, what Gary Finout, who is a, a Florida-based political reporter, has been reporting on what's going on down in Florida. I realize that's kind of a complex thing, but... Uh, Filipowski is basically echoing fine out. Um, and uh, this, this is amazing. They are not going to embarrass Ron DeSantis, is what one of the uh, Republican legislators down in Florida said. Ron DeSantis is essentially the Speaker of the House, the President of the Senate, and the Chief Justice of the Florida Supreme Court right now. And so Filipowski says there's a word for that. Florida no longer has a functioning separation of powers, checks and balances, is no longer a functioning republic. The elected representatives of the party in power are so intimidated by the bully in the governor's mansion that we are now essentially an autocracy. In fewer than three years, uh, Filipowski goes on, DeSantis has corrupted nearly every institution in Florida. And I, you know, I would say that this is probably the pattern that we're gonna see in, uh, or are seeing in state after state uh, but here's where it gets really interesting, and, and uh, uh, Sean and I are reaching out to Filipowski to see if he wants to uh, tell us specifically about what he's learning. He's, he's talking about how he and uh, three of his researchers, he and three volunteers, have, quote, immersed ourselves into monitoring the political right. We've uh, attended rallies and events, monitored social media pages across multiple platforms, lurked in internet chat rooms, and watched countless podcasts and shows. The right-wing disinformation machine, he writes, is powerful, effective, and coordinated. It is filled with alternative facts and conspiracy theories about election fraud, COVID, vaccines, school policies, the border, foreign affairs, cryptocurrencies, and many, many other topics. They use fabricated studies, doctored reports and journals with dubious or anonymous sources, fake and deceptively edited videos. Now, here's where it gets troubling. So, I mean, we're, we're all familiar with all of this. Then he goes on to say, and keep in mind, this guy is a Republican. He, he goes on to say, as for the rest of America, neither the left, the center left, nor the Democratic Party has any real coordinated effort to counter this right-wing ecosystem. Every week we watch as Republicans gather at huge conferences, rallies, seminars, and classes where candidates and activi activists are recruited and indoctrinated. Nothing like that is happening on the left. And then he goes on to say, and the truth is the traditional media is constitutionally incapable of being a counter to the alternative ecosystem the right wing has constructed. He goes on to say, so if the traditional media can't do it, how about the Democratic Party? Sadly, they're not in the game in any way. Either Democrats fail to recognize what is happening, Ron Filipowski, this Republican notes, either Democrats fail to recognize what is happening, don't understand it, or think that a handful of political action committees and White House press conferences are sufficient to deal with it. Either way, they are wrong. He says the DNC's war room looks like a Victorian Tea Party compared to what Republicans do on a daily basis. It's shocking, he writes, to watch both sides operate each day and see how much more effective the GOP is at messaging. I agree and have been ranting about this for the better part of 18 years on this program. <laughs> it, it, this is... So, yeah, and, and, you know, Ron DeSantis is like reinventing 
Florida down there as, as a, you know, kind of a new alternative uh, system, a uh, new alternative political system. In Missouri, you've got a governor here. This is, this is an amazing story. Uh, the governor of uh, Missouri, Mike Parson. Well, here's the backstory. There was a reporter, there's a reporter in Missouri who was looking at the state's website and discovered that there was a list on it of uh, people's social security numbers, right? I mean, it was just this massive, uh, this was uh, uh, Missouri teachers. A list of Missouri teachers with their social security numbers was on this public government website. And the way that he found this, this reporter for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, the way he found it was he simply clicked on the government website. That's not hacking, that's clicking on a public website. So the governor wants to prosecute this guy for hacking. How dare you expose the incompetence of the Missouri government and the uh, Republican administration there? How dare you? We are going to put you in jail. This is what authoritarians do. They put reporters in jail. They destroy the lives of people who challenge them. They, they sell and peddle lies and misinformation for profit as well as for power. This is what's happening right now in the United States. This is what we saw this morning with Rand Paul trying to browbeat Dr. Fauci. This is what we're seeing in Florida with, with the governor uh, basically uh, asserting his absolute authority over the state, and soon he wants to run for president. He will be, you know, uh, I, I think Ron DeSantis represents probably an even greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump does, because he's smarter and he's well-educated, and Trump is an idiot, but he's, he, he's very sly. You know, Trump has this, he has, he has spent his entire lifetime fine-tuning how to be a grifter. DeSantis has only been doing it, apparently, for a couple of decades, but you know, or maybe a decade, but DeSantis is getting really good at this, as is Greg Abbott down in Texas. There's, there's some, there are some serious contenders, you know, and then you've, of course, got in the Senate people who want to become president. Tom Cotton, Josh Hawley, Rick Scott, Ted Cruz. Oh, poor Ted. Anyhow, it's, it's, it's a dangerous time, and the Democratic Party needs to take it seriously. They really do. Up next is Donald Trump, the Antichrist. Stick around. This is the Tom Hartman Program. We'll be right back. Stick around. It's the Tom Hartman Program. Speaking the truth, some multinational corporations would really rather you didn't know all about. 